Hello and welcome back to We Food Hard. Since we are getting even closer to Christmas and we are still in a casserole type of mood, today we're going to be attempting a French toast casserole. Now, if you checked out our recipe for the sausage breakfast casserole, I just wanted to say thank you. Um, now, last week I told you the story about uh, my aunt bringing these two casseroles on Christmas Eve. Turns out I was wrong with that. My mother would actually make the sausage breakfast casserole and my aunt would make a French toast casserole. So I thought it would be appropriate to try our hands at the French toast casserole today. Okay, so before we get started, I'll just walk you really quickly through the ingredients I have here that you're going to need to make your own French toast casserole. So I will start with the bread. The bread that I'm using today is actually a cinnamon streusel loaf. Strudel, cinnamon strudel, streusel. Um, either way, you could use a French bread, you could use uh, sourdough, you could use any type of bread that you want. I thought this bread would be interesting. The cinnamon swirl loaf would probably give uh, French toast a little bit extra flavor kick or whatnot. So, uh, like I said, I thought it'd be interesting to try this. One thing I did notice is that this bread is a little bit denser than other breads. So, um, in order to get a, enough to fill my pan, I actually ended up using about a pound and a quarter rather than like a pound. So it's just a little bit of a difference. But what I did was I cut it into cubes. I did throw it in the oven at 350 degrees for eight minutes just to get the bread a little bit crisp. I also have 10 eggs. I have a mixture of brown sugar, uh, cinnamon, and sea salt. Uh, the amounts will be in the description below. I have pure vanilla, and you're about to see a milk magic trick. Oh, there's the milk. Okay, so I have two cups of whole milk and then my nine by 13 baking pan. Uh, I greased it with some butter. You could use cooking spray, whatever you'd like. Um, I will get these things together and show you how we build our French toast casserole. Okay, and it's literally that easy. So the next step here is we're going to cover it with foil. We're gonna throw it in our fridge for a minimum of two hours. I really recommend uh, letting this casserole sit overnight. That way the bread has all that time to soak up the egg mixture. Um, like I said last week, if you're gonna be bringing this dish to somebody, this is the perfect uh, place to stop. You cover it with foil, you could either throw it in your fridge or you bring it to them and have them throw it in their fridge and then they can cook it the next day. So. Again, what we're gonna do, we're gonna cover it with foil, throw it in the fridge. Um, when it's ready to get thrown in the oven, we're gonna uncover this, we're gonna put it in a 350 degree oven and bake between 40 and 50 minutes. Um, unfortunately, there's no cheese on this casserole for me to test my doneness by, so I'm just gonna uh, make sure that the bread looks good, it's not like getting burnt or anything. I would assume that um, if you're worried about your bread burning, you could leave the tin foil on the, uh, while it's baking for the first like 30 minutes and then maybe pull it off and bake it without anything on it for 20 minutes. So I'm going to get this thing wrapped up and thrown in the fridge and we'll be back when it's done cooking. All right guys, I just threw the French toast casserole in the oven and I figured while it's baking, this would be a good time to kind of go over some topping options with you. So you have your standard maple syrup, you have powdered sugar, you have whipped cream, you can do fruit, whatever you want to do, I would recommend trying it because the casserole by itself is going to be delicious, but it would just enhance the flavor having different toppings on top of it. So have a little bit of fun and we will see you when this thing is done baking. All right guys, our French toast breakfast casserole is done. Uh, for research purposes and for the sake of this video, I let this sit in the fridge for about six hours before I uh, baked it. I did bake it at 350 degrees and this actually took about an hour. I know earlier I said about 40 to 50 minutes. Um, 
I'm not really sure why it took about an hour, but I would say between 50 and 60 minutes, your casserole should be done. Now, uh, I also need to say that if you don't like your house smelling like cinnamon, brown sugar goodness, then this recipe is not for you. Um, but if you do like that smell, um, this casserole smells awesome. So um, I highly recommend you trying this. I will cut it in a second to show you what it looks like, but uh, before I do that, I just wanna say thank you again for watching this video. If you like this video, please make sure you like it, and if you have any questions, put them in the comments section, and make sure you are subscribed to this channel so that you don't miss anything. Um, I will get this thing cut for you because it looks awesome. And I got that crunch coming again here. Thank you for watching, and until next time, work hard, food harder.